grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And also with you. Bless the Lord who forgives all our sins. God's mercy endures forever. Amen. Turn with me to page 353 in your hymnal. This doesn't say in unison, but I'm going to ask you to pray along with me as we uh, as we read together the Ash Wednesday prayer. O oh God, maker of everything and judge of all that you have made. From the dust of the earth you have formed us, and from the dust of death you would raise us up. By the redemptive power of the cross, Create in us clean hearts, and put within us a new spirit, that we may repent of our sins, and lead lives worthy of your calling. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. you are able to rise in spirit and join with me in singing, turn your eyes upon Jesus. We'll be singing that through twice. verses 1 and 2. Blow the trumpet in Zion, sound the alarm on my holy hill. Let all who live in the land tremble, for the day of the Lord is coming. It is close at hand. A day of darkness and gloom, a day of clouds and blackness. Like dawn spreading across the mountains, a large and mighty army comes, such as never was in ancient times, nor will ever be in ages to come. Even now, declares the Lord, Return to me with all your heart, with fasting and weeping and mourning. Rend your heart and not your garments. Return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and abounding in love, and he relents from sending calamity. Who knows, he may turn and relent and leave behind a blessing. Rain offerings and drink offerings for the Lord your God. Blow the trumpet in Zion, declare a holy fast, Call a sacred assembly. Gather the people. Consecrate the assembly. Bring together the elders. Gather the children, those nursing at the breast. Let the bridegroom leave his room in the bride her chamber. Let the priests who minister before the Lord weep between the portico and the altar. Let them say, Spare your people, Lord. Do not make your inheritance an object of scorn, a byword among the nations. Why should they say among the peoples, Where is their God? Our Psalter reading this evening is from the 51st Psalm. Right, verses 1 through 17. Have 
mercy on me, O God, according to your steadfast love. According to your abundant mercy, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you only, have I sinned, and done that which is evil in your sight so that you are justified in your sentence, and blameless in your judgment. Behold, I was born into iniquity, and I have been sinful since my mother conceived me. Behold, you desire truth in the inward being, therefore teach me wisdom in my secret heart. Purge me with my sons, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear with joy and gladness. Let the bones which you have broken rejoice. Hide your face from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and put a new and right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and sustain in me a willing spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your ways, and sinners will return to you. Deliver me from death, O God, God of my salvation, and my tongue will sing aloud of your deliverance. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall show forth your praise. For you have no delight in sacrifice, were I to give a burnt offering, you would not be pleased. The sacrifice acceptable to God. Is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O God, you will not despise. Tonight's uh, gospel message is from Second Corinthians, chapter five, verses twenty through six ten. We are therefore Christ's ambassadors, though God were making his appeal through us. We employ you on Christ's behalf. Be reconciled to God. God made him who had no sin to be sin for us, so that in him we might became, become the righteousness of God. As God's co-workers, we urge you not to receive God's grace in vain. He says, in the time of my favor I heard you. And in the day of salvation, I helped you. I tell you, now is the time of God's favor. Now is the day of salvation. We put no stumbling block in anyone's path so that our ministry will not be discredited. Rather, as servants of God, we commend ourselves in every way, in great endurance, in trouble, hardships and distress, in beatings, imprisonments and riots, in hard work, sleepless nights and hunger, in purity, understanding, patience, and kindness, in the Holy Spirit and in sincere love, in truthful speech and in the power of God, with weapons of righteousness in the right hand and in the left, through glory and dishonor, bad report and good report, genuine yet regarded as impostors, known yet regarded as unknown, dying and yet we live on, beaten and yet not killed, sorrowful, yet always rejoicing, poor, yet making many rich, having nothing, and yet possessing everything. This is the word of God to the people of God. Praise be to God. Let us sing together now in 252, It's Me.
Tonight's gospel message, epistle message, comes from Matthew chapter 6, verses 1 through 6, and verses 16 through 21. Matthew teaches us, be careful not to practice your righteousness in front of others to be seen by them. If you do, you will have no reward from your Father in heaven. So when you give to the needy, do not announce them with trumpets, as the hypocrites do in the synagogue and on the streets, to be honored by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward fully. But when you give to the needy, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your giving may be in secret. Then your Father, who sees what is done in secret, will reward you. And when you pray, don't be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in the synagogue and on the street corner to, seen, to be seen by all the elders. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward in full. But when you pray, go into your room, close the door, and pray to your Father who is unseen. Then your Father, who sees what is done in secret, will reward you. Now, check verse 16. When you fast, do not look somber as the hypocrites do, for they disfigure their faces to show others that they are fasting. But truly, I tell you, they have received their reward in full. But when you fast, put oil on your head and wash your face, so that it will not be obvious to others that you are fasting, but only to your Father, who is unseen, and your Father, who sees what is done in secret, will reward you. Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moths and vermin destroy, and where thieves break in and steal, but store up for yourself treasures in heaven, where moths and vermin do not destroy and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. The word of God, the people of God. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. <clears throat> Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, Christians have always observed with great devotion the days of our Lord's passion and resurrection. It became the custom the church to prepare for Easter by a season of penance, fasting, and prayer. This season of 40 days provided a time in which converts to the faith were prepared for baptism into the body of Christ. It is also the time when persons who had committed serious sins and had been separated from the community of faith were reconciled by penance and forgiveness and restored to the fellowship of the church. The whole congregation is thus reminded of the mercy and forgiveness proclaimed in the gospel of Jesus Christ and the need we all have to renew our baptism of faith. I invite you, in the name of the Lord, to observe a holy Lent by self-examination, penance, prayer, fasting, and almsgiving, and by reading and meditating on the word of God, to make a right beginning and it's a mark of our morality. Let us now bow our bow before our Creator and Redeemer.
the book of Romans, it says that all have sinned and fall short of the glory of our God. Let us take a moment, or several moments, for some silent meditation as we think about our lives as sinners saved only by the grace of our God. Let us give thanks over the ashes. Almighty God, you have created us out of the dust of the earth. Grant that these ashes may be to us a sign of our mortality and benefits so that we may remember that only by your gracious gift are we given everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Pray with me. Our Lord and our God, we humbly come before you on this Ash Wednesday evening. Our prayer is that even as we speak, your Holy Spirit, is falling upon this vessel containing oil and ashes, ashes from palms from Palm Sundays before. Holy Spirit, consecrate these ashes. May they be a mark of our repentance as we come together, sinners one and all, saved only by your grace, by the sacrifice of Jesus Christ, and through the guidance of the Holy Spirit. We pray all this in Jesus' holy and righteous name, and all God's people said, Amen. 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 Receiving the sign of the cross with the use of the ashes, on your forehead, or perhaps on the back of your hand, is voluntary. Come forward to receive the sign of the cross as you are led by the Spirit. Let us pray. May the Almighty and merciful God, who desires not the death of a sinner, but that we turn from wickedness and live. Accept your repentance, forgive your sins, and restore you by the Holy Spirit to the newness of life. Amen. We 
we will uh, impose the action if you would come forward. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, from dust you came, and to dust you shall return. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, from dust you came, and to dust you shall return. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, from dust you came, and to dust you shall return. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, from dust you came, and to dust you shall return. In the name of the Father, and the Son, from dust you came, and to dust you shall return. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. From dust you came, and to dust you shall return. In the name of the Father, and the Son, Holy Spirit. From dust you came, and to dust you shall return. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. From dust you came, and to dust you shall return. Stand as you are able, or rise in spirit. Please join me in singing in 174. His name is Wonderful.
receive this blessing. In the name of God the Father, and Jesus Christ, His holy and perfect Son, and through the power of the Holy Spirit, may we leave this place remembering what Christ, what God, what the Holy Spirit has done for us. Go in peace, go in love, and go remembering who we really are.